Hello, my name's Aaron. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be looking at the best video settings for the Sony A5100 camera. This is going to be a quick run through of all the different settings for the A5100 so you can get the absolute best quality picture on your videos with this camera. But before we get started, please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps me out a lot, lets me know that you're enjoying these videos. So first we're going to look at the format and quality settings on this camera. So first you want to set your file format settings. You can find this on camera settings on the main menu and then under tab 2. You want to select file format XAVCS. Now, if this option is greyed out for you, it's because you haven't got the right type of memory card. You need to get an SDXC memory card. It's still an SD memory card, but it's an SDXC memory card. Search online at your preferred retailer and you will find this type if you search for it. They'll be a little bit more expensive. It just means that the transfer rate of data from the camera to the card is a bit quicker so it can handle this higher bitrate format. With XAVCS, you'll notice a much higher quality picture in the end. Of course, all the video on the A5100 is 1080p, so you want that highest quality possible as this camera can't go up to 4K. So I'd say that is vital if you want the absolute highest quality video from this camera. The next setting is the record settings, which is your basically your frame rate settings. Once you're on XAVCS recording type, you'll get the options of the frame rate settings under the same tab. So that's camera settings and then tab two, and you'll see the options under recording settings. So here you can see that you've got 50p and 25p. That's basically 50 frames per second or 25 frames per second. The 50 frames per second is great as it makes, you, makes your footage smoother. I'm recording this now 50 frames per second. If you're doing talking to the camera stuff, that is absolutely perfect. If you're doing something a bit more cinematic, you may go down to 25 frames per second. It gives that little bit of space between frames, and obviously not noticeable to the human eye. Closer to the style of frame rate that you would expect most more cinematic shots to be taken. Of course, on the 50 frames per second, you'll notice that that is double 25. Amazing, I know. But if you slow that footage down, so 50 frames per second footage down, by 50%, that will make it 25 frames per second, but at half the speed. So this is great if you want sl slow-mo footage, slightly slow-mo footage, it's not extreme slow-mo, but that can give that really good cinematic quality if you're making B-roll for vlogs and stuff like that. So if you go for a more cinematic look, unfortunately the A5100 doesn't have proper picture profiles. However, it does have some settings that you can change, which will slightly change the look of your video to make it look a little bit more cinematic. If you go to camera settings, then tab 5, then creative styles, choose the one called portrait. Even if you're not taking portraits, I find that this looks quite cinematic. Now, if you then press right again on the screen here, you'll get contrast, saturation and sharpness options, which you can edit manually. This is good because you can tune that creative style to your exact tastes. Now, if you're looking for something a little bit more cinematic, these are just guidelines, but I feel like it work fairly well. I would recommend changing the contrast to minus three, the saturation to minus one, and the sharpness to minus one. This should give it a slightly softer cinematic style, especially if you're using half speed footage but without taking all the sharpness and colour away. You're not losing too much contrast, so you're not washing out all the colour and you're not losing too much sharpness, but it just gives it a nice modern look. Some other settings I would recommend, especially if you're out and about and you haven't got the camera mounted on a tripod for video, would be to make sure steady shot is on, which is on as standard, but if you want to check, that's on camera settings and then tab seven. I'd also check that auto white balance is on. This is also on camera settings, but tab five. A more optional setting is the zebra settings. This basically is always checking the scene to make sure that it's not too overexposed. Quite useful on a very bright day, and then you can adjust the light contrast settings appropriately. It'll basically put a zebra style pattern on the overexposed areas so you can spot them in your frame while you are recording. To turn the zebra settings on or off it's on custom settings and then tab 2. I personally use zebra settings of 100 if I am using this feature. 
So you'll have noticed plenty of clips throughout this video. This has all been taken on the Sony A5100 with the 16 to 50 millimeter kit lens, the standard kit lens that you get with this camera. So nothing fancy here. Some of the shots I've added a little bit of post-production on. I'll try and keep that to a minimum. Most of these videos haven't been shot with those most cinematic settings, so you can see what they're like as standard, but I'll have added a couple in that have those cinematic settings on and I'll let you know which ones they are throughout the video. Also, if you're trying to make a more cinematic video, you can add time lapses to your video. It's not quite a video setting as it is a separate app, but if you check out this video here, it runs through exactly how to install and set up time lapses on the Sony A5100. So there we go, that's the best video settings for the Sony A5100. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing and dropping a like on the video. But that's it from me for now. Till next time, see ya.